Yesterday, Rivers said he's not ruling out the possibility of coming back and playing in the NFL. In fact, he said, you know what? I'm keeping myself in shape. I'm just starting to really work now. I, I, I spent the offseason not training to go to training camp, but I'm starting to get myself back into shape. Now, what he also said, because remember what I said yesterday was this, guys. I said, there's no way Philip Rivers will leave his high school football team. No chance. It's just not the way he's wired. He's, he's wired to be completely loyal to his guys. You know, this is my team. These are my guys. But what Rivers was saying yesterday was he hasn't ruled out the possibility of a November, December, January kind of a comeback. And what does that mean? It means that he can get through the entire high school football season, get done coaching high school football, and then possibly go play for an NFL contender or the Indianapolis Colts. I'll just ask you guys this question because this is something I want to get to as the show goes on today. And we're going to get back into baseball like right away because there's some big stories about what happened last night. But if you guys had to make a bet right now, will Rivers play in the NFL this year? What do you think? Oh, yes. No, that's a no for me. No, because if let's if he doesn't go back to the Colts now, who's going to call him? Like he said, he said December, January, if I read the quote correctly. Who's going to call him then? Because at that point, the high school football season will be over, so he would have some free time. Who's going to call him in December and January with no camp and no no familiarity with the skill positions other than the Colts? And by then, uh, 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 Wentz will be back. Well, but let's just play it out here for a quick second. Play let's away. Say, let's say Wentz is out for a full 12 weeks. Okay. Okay, so from right now, a full 12 weeks, let's say it's week eight of the NFL season. Okay. It's week eight. Wentz starts to come back. He's not really that good. You know, he's the Colts need something else. Maybe they're in contention. I, I don't know how they will be because I don't think they're, the record will be very good without Wentz. And I don't even think it'll be good with Wentz, but let's just say they get to the midpoint of the season and they're like, this isn't working out. Now rivers high school football season ends before Thanksgiving. Let's call it the second week of November. He's done. Second week of November, he's available. You get him back. You bring him back. He's there for the last four to five regular season games. And if there is a playoff run, he's there to be your starting quarterback for the playoffs. And if it's the Colts, because I'm with you, Browner, I don't know, unless somebody were to get hurt, you know, unless a superstar quarterback were to get hurt and Rivers were to go to that team because he's maybe the best available free agent that street team, quarterback. That team would have to be a Super Bowl contender. Yeah, right. That's right. I mean, he's not going to go play for the Cincinnati Bengals if they're three and 10, you know, and he's not going to go play for the Chargers if they're four and nine, you know, but if the Colts are, let's just say if they were hypothetically eight and four and he, and he could come in and be the starting quarterback, maybe, maybe. I just thought it was interesting that Phillip Rivers just didn't rule it out. He didn't say, oh, gee, shucks, golly, gee, dad gummit. I'm a high school football coach and I'm happy living in Alabama and I'm happily retired. He actually kind of opened the door like, yeah, you know what? I would come back and play. And why would he do that? Why would he do that? Because he's already spoken to somebody. I guarantee you he's already spoken to somebody. Oh, yeah. Philip Rivers, we've known Philip Rivers for like 15, 20 years now. Philip Rivers has never been one to be speculative of things. Philip Rivers is always, especially lately, he just tells you what it is. So the fact that he goes out and tells Sam Farmer, who we all know will publish this, and he works for LA Times in a big publication, he knows that he's already spoken to somebody. I don't know which team. Maybe it's the Colts. Maybe it's somebody else. Phil Rivers wouldn't say this unless there's already been conversations and him knowing that he is going to play this year. And also, Scott, you have four kids. I cannot, you can, you know, can relate to more about to what I'm about to say. You ever been stuck in a house with nine kids mm. every single day? Like, you got to get out, man. Like, dude, you, <laughs> you're, you're on the road. You're in, you're at the, you're at the facility. You know, 12 hours a day. We always talk about how much time is wasted at NFL facilities. Your quarterback, dude, I remember even when he was in Orange County, he would like, instead of moving to be with his kids more, <laughs> he decided to drive in four hours of traffic every day to stay away from those rascals. So the fact that he's finally been at home for what's it been, seven months now since January, eight months? Tapping out. He's gotten that reality of like, yo, this sucks, dude. Like, this is terrible. That, that I'm making a joke, but it could be true. Like, yo, I don't like being at home that much. And so to, to him to even say that I'm getting in shape, I'm, I would have missed weight, but I'm getting in shape. And he told Sam Farmer and he's been around his kids for nine, eight months. Dude, 
The guy's going to play this year. I wonder this, though. You ready? I have told you guys that I think that he's such a loyal football man and high school coaching is what he wanted to do. And now he's got this high school football team down in Alabama. I just wonder, I'm going to put this out there. Has he possibly prepared? Because if you're right, Alex, if he's if he's spoken to Frank Reich, the head coach of the Colts, who he's very close to, has he possibly prepared for, okay, so I talked to Frank. I'm getting myself back into shape. I don't want to go to training camp yet. I certainly don't want to play in the first two preseason games. So that gives me about three weeks or so. Um, and in the next three weeks, can I prepare an assistant coach to take over the team <laughs> during the season so that by week three of the preseason, I can show up in Indianapolis and I can play the full season with the Colts? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me as well because of this. Frank Reich, obviously, we all, everybody was like, oh, they're going to trade for Nick Foles. They're going to trade for, for the guy that won him a Super Bowl when mm -hmm. this happened last time. I, but clearly, the Colts and Frank Reich do not want to give up any sort of assets to get Nick Foles. And then if you do bring in Nick Foles when Carson Wentz is ready, now you have to have that conversation of who's really going to start for you. But here's, hold on, relax, dude. Um, here's why what you say makes sense, Scott. Because he had that conversation with Frank Reich. Let's say Carson Wentz does come back in five weeks. Then Phillip Rivers doesn't come back because I think that's a quick turnaround and they go with it. But let's say he's going to be out 12 weeks. You bring Rivers in. 